Something's stuck in the toilet! Looks like a poor Barbie doll got washed away in the wrong pipe! Look how dirty she is! Let's go clean her up! There's hope for you yet! First, I'm gonna wipe the dirty slime away with a sponge! Oh my! This poor doll is missing a leg! This calls for an operation! Scissors? Are they cutting off the only leg Barbie has left? It's okay, she doesn't need legs here in the ocean. What she needs are fins. I'm gonna hook a piece of wire through her hips and shape it into a tail. A bit of twist on the end should make the fins. Now I'm gonna wrap some foil around the wire to really achieve that tail figure. Don't forget the fins. To make it even better, I'm gonna add Play-Doh all around the tail. Gotta make sure it covers every inch. We can't have the tail looking so pale. So I want to add green glitter that matches my tail. Now I want to add some sequins that look like real mermaid scales. All done! Of course, all mermaids need water to survive. Wait, something's happening. The doll turned into a real little mermaid. Hi, my name is Ariel. This place looks fun. We have a daughter! We look so alike, don't you think? Shh, Ariel is deep asleep. Uh-oh, are those tentacles? They're getting closer! It's Ursula! I'm gonna take away Ariel's voice! Huh? Mommy! Where's the flashlight? There! Get away from me, you ugly octopus! Oh shoot, this isn't over. Did I hear screaming? My poor baby, what happened? Ursula was here? But it's just a pile of things on your chair. You're just imagining things. I'm still scared, don't leave me. Look, Pikachu's been having ocean adventures. And it seems mom has an idea. Let me see, I only need this globe jar. Bye, Pikachu. What is mom planning to do with the jar? I'm going to decorate the jar with a nice plant and a glowing light. Then I'll fill it up with some water orbs. Now I'll close it up to secure the orbs inside. Cool night lamp, huh? It will repel all the evil octopuses like Ursula. Now go back to sleep, dear. Good night, mommy. Sweet dreams, and don't let the seabed bugs bite. Looks like our little Princess Ariel is having fun with her fishy buddy! Something's coming! Whoa! A pufferfish! I want to touch it! Ouch! It spiked my finger! A splinter? What to do? Oh, what a beautiful shell! I've got an idea! I can use the shell's mouth to pull out the splinter! See? Easy peasy! Pretty doll! Huh? All that sea salt gave the mermaid doll butt pimples! They don't look very nice! I wanna pop those butt pimples! Here I go! Except it's giving your lollipop some extra flavor! Phew! That was tiring! I want to finish my lollipop now! Ah! Stop! You can't eat your lollipop anymore! Look how dirty it is! But I want to eat my lollipop! What should I do? My shell top? I have an idea! Shells don't just protect pearls, they can also protect lollipops! Nice! It's so tasty! I'll keep it safe for now while I pop some more pimples! Ready? At least the shell gets a decoration! Ariel's all dirty from playing around with sand so much! I want to build a sand castle! Wait! Something's inside! I think the water will reveal what it is! Let's see… I see something… What is it? Wow! It's a toy! Dad, look! Huh? Ariel, look at you! It's like you went for a dive in the dumpster! We need to clean you up now! Come on, go shower! I don't 
don't want to. I'm busy playing. Your mom will kill me if she sees you like this. Huh? Is that a crab? I know what to do. What's a crab gadget gonna do? Ariel, check this out. Huh? Wow, so many bubbles. Fun, right? Follow me and I'll show you how fun this crab can be. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles! See? The tub is filled with more bubbles. Whoa! I want to get in there! Hop in then! Yay! I love bubbles! Now let's wash off that dirt. Dad successfully lured Ariel into the bath. That was very easy. Ew! That's a lot of slime, dear. Oh no, you're burning up. You need to drink medicine. Just a spoonful of cough syrup will make you better in no time. Take it. I don't want it. Honey, do something. Let's see. Perhaps a fisherman can help us. Whoa, where's that coming from? I'm sinking! What is dad going to do with an empty soda can? I want a soda! One moment, dear. Here you go. Dad hid the cough syrup inside the can. That's so smart. What Ariel doesn't know won't hurt her. This is delicious. My husband is such a genius fishy. So many fun sea creatures. What is going on here? Why is Ariel's arm full of tattoos? Take them off this instant! Relax, they're just stickers. See? Take them off, I don't care. Aw, oh, way to ruin the fun, Mom. What is she up to now? I'll use a sponge to rub off all the tattoos. Ow! It hurts! Look, my arm is all red! I'm so sorry, bad sponge. I'll use tape instead. I'll just lay the tape over the tattoos. Give it a few pats. And take it off. Instant removal. I'll do the same for the others. No more pain, right? But it might tickle a little. My tattoos! They're all gone now! Perfect! You look like a normal mermaid again! You don't get to join this hug, you bad influence! I need to brush my teeth. Is this toothpaste enough? A worm? I hope Ariel won't get reeled in. Too late, she took the bait. I love worms. I can't believe there's more. I'll take that too. What are you doing? You're supposed to be brushing your teeth. Look at that mess. Oh, there goes your toothbrush. Go on. No, I don't want a brush. Think. Is that a worm? Ah, I know. If it's worms she wants, it's worms she gets. I'm gonna make worm figures using toothpaste. This should be plenty enough. I wanna sprinkle some baking soda all over the worms so they can make the toothpaste solid enough to put on a hook. Here we go. I'll put the toothpaste worm over the hook, just like real bait. Look, a worm. My favorite. It's very minty. It cleans your teeth at the same time. Her teeth are as shiny as a pearl. Even mermaids can't resist a yummy cake. Where's the knife? It seems Ariel beat you to it. Huh? No! You might slice your fingers off! I've got to make something fast like a lightning bolt. Is that a paper knife? Here, little mermaids can only use paper knives. Look how easily a paper knife cuts through the cake. This is why we should never underestimate a paper cut. This is so delicious! That was close. Ariel is excited for lunch. Veggie algae? That's one way to ruin an appetite. I hate it! It's good for your fins. Eat it, okay? I'm not convinced. I think I caught something. Come on! A blessing from above! What's inside that box? An apple 
and fries? Ew, no to the apple. Huh? Where did this apple come from? What? Human food tastes so good! Oops. Did you know fries are unhealthy? Eat an apple instead. No! McDonald's fries and an apple? I know. First, I'll slice off the top of the apple. Then I'll scoop out the middle part and cut it into fries shapes. M for McDonald's. And they look just like the fries. Wow! My special fries! It's so crunchy! Well, as for the real fries… Only mommies can eat them. <laughs> wow, is mom going somewhere today? Nice earrings. I want earrings too. Should I put one on? Let me try. Ouch! It hurts! Where's my other earring? Huh? What happened? Well, your ears are not pierced, but… A shell? I've thought of something! What is mom planning to do with the shell? Look, the shell has pearls inside! They're gonna be your earrings! But first, I need paper clips. I'm gonna cut the paper clip in half and apply glue on both ends to stick the pearls on. This won't hurt. I can easily hook it on your earlobe just like that. They're so pretty! I love it! Pretty just like your mom. <laughs> Ariel is thinking about doing something to her hair. Oh no, is she going to cut it? No! Don't cut your precious hair! That's a big no-no. But my hair keeps falling over my face. Let's see what we can do. Oh, is this your Barbie doll? What is mom up to? I'm gonna give you a nice little braid. You're almost done. Now let's spice things up and spray your hair with a bright green color. Gotta make sure we get every strand. It looks like a mermaid's tail, right? Now all we need is Barbie. And you've got mermaid Barbie hair! Wow, I look so pretty! The best hairstylist, Mom! Concentrate! Now that's a relief! Take it easy with the tissue! That much is not good to flush! Uh-oh! Clogging only means one thing! It's gonna flood in here! My socks are drenched! What should I do? Mario! <laughs> Someone's snorkeling trip got cut short! What is Mario planning to do with that plastic wrap? Oh! Let's hope covering up the toilet with the plastic wrap will control the clogging! Flush it and push down on the plastic! It worked! All those mushrooms he ate are a little bit hard to let out! Hey! Who's been stealing all the toilet paper? It's empty? There are no more rolls left! Except for one over on the bathtub. Oh no! It's Bowser! You evil turtle! Mario! Even the piranha plant heard the distress call. What's wrong? I'm out of TP! You don't need TP! What is Mario planning to do? I have a gadget in here! Me. Okay, let's try this again. Aha! I found it! Wow! This bidet comes with a pump! And look how easily it cleans balloons! You're done? Don't worry about flushing. You can simply throw the water away. It's a very easy! Using the toilet should be a relief. Except when the toilet seat is too cold. Will Mario be able to help? What's the ruckus? I'm freezing! The toilet seat is too cold! Is that so? Maybe the heat of a hairdryer will help? Nice idea! It's making my butt all warm and cozy! As for the toilet seat… Is that a Mario squishy? I know! It's time to assemble all the squishies! Good thing they come in stickers so I can put them all over the toilet seat and keep it warm! 
Aiden, your toilet seat is ready. This is so comfortable and squishy. And squish all you can while you're at it. We must wash your hair properly. Ow! I got soap in my eyes. Oh no! I'm so sorry. What have you done to my boy? Here, I'll wipe it off. It's okay. You irresponsible man. It seems something else has caught Mario's attention. What is he planning to do with the crown? Wow, it's a crown-shaped shower cap. That's a useful gadget to prevent soap from getting into Aiden's eyes. There's no better game to play than Mario Bros. It's King Boo! Wah! The controller just took a toilet dip. That means Mario also got drenched. And it's game over. I didn't mean to drop the controller. Ugh, that's nasty. We have to prevent this from happening again. Are those Mario's tights? It seems they also fit the toilet seat well. And to make it more convenient, cut a hole in the middle. Let's give this a try. Phew, it didn't fall in. How about a squishy duck? Nope, still safe. Nice. Back to the game. I have a feeling Aiden's winning. I gotta pee. Gee, this toilet is a mess. But oh well, we can't help when nature calls. Ouch! Something bit me! It's a piranha plant! Mario! What's wrong? Worry not, I have a mushroom bomb! Here for a snack! Take cover! Will the bomb work? Looks like it's safe enough to check it out. All clean, and no plants waiting to nip on your booty. Stay tuned for more bathroom hacks. I think Aiden's overdoing it with the toothpaste. And he doesn't even want to use it. Whoa! What is this? Aiden? You're supposed to brush your teeth. But the toothpaste smells too minty. How about a tiny Bowser cap on the toothpaste? When you feed him some toothpaste, he'll poop it out for you. Funny, right? Now go on and brush your teeth. I don't want to. Mamma mia! I want to eat Nutella. That's it. Give me that. I'm gonna make a Nutella toothpaste. It's a perfect. Now Bowser has chocolatey diarrhea. Try it. Mmm. It's like mint chocolate. Ugh! Come out! Oops! Aiden doesn't like the water splash! Mario! Mario! Oh, come on! It was Mario's bath time! But of course, Aiden must come first! I don't like the water splashing! Is that so? I have an idea! We need the brick to yield a special item for us! There it is! An anti-splash powder! Let's go! We have to pour all of the powder into the toilet to make sure no splashes will happen. Are you ready? Give it a try! It worked! It didn't splash! This is great! Thanks, Mario! Ugh! Ugh! Somebody get this boy a tissue! Or better yet, wash your hands in the sink. But we have a problem. Aiden can't reach the faucet. Eh, I'll just wipe it all off on the sink. What's going on? Mamma mia! Think? A shampoo bottle? I've got it! What is Mario planning to do? Let's clean up the slime using this squishy toy. He's full now! And I'll use the shampoo bottle to make a bridge for the water to flow closer. What a genius! You! We finally got rid of all that slime! Good job! And it's about time you finish that shower! Nothing is more relaxing than bath time! Oh no! The soap is too slippery! Uh-oh! Watch out! Who knew Mario had skateboarding skills? He's about to finish the Mario Kart race! Wah! Oof! Ow! My back! That must have hurt. 
We need to do something about this soapy situation. Is that a giant nose? Even better, it's a soap dispenser. I wish it was this easy to sneeze out a cold. That was easy. And no more skateboarding accidents. Way to go, Bowser! He's faster than Lightning McQueen! Uh-oh! Not the toilet! No! Mario! Mario is also in the middle of a Mario Kart race! Let's hope he doesn't land up in the toilet, too! Mario! I need help! What happened? Bowser landed in the toilet! I know! Come here! Are you gonna hit me? Silly! I just gave you a toilet seat the racetrack! What a smart invention! It's time to keep the wheels turning! Well, Mario also needs to get back to his Mario Kart race! He has a trophy to win! Whoa! This toilet seat is too high for Aiden! He can't reach it! Uh, Mario! Are you hear a distress call? Oh, hello! What's the problem? I can't reach the toilet seat! What can we do? Oh! What's the brick for? You can use this as a stepping stool! Climb on up! Wow! I feel so tall! I love it! Huh? I hear something! What's that? Something's in the closet! What if it's a monster? Look at those creepy eyes! Nanny! What's wrong? There's a monster in my closet! I swear! It was just right there! Maybe I can scare him off with my dance moves. Take these arm moves, you beast. Or better yet, I'll beat him up with a bat. Come here, monster. Hmm? Be careful! Come out! No! Stop that! You almost hurt her teddy bear! My gosh! Such a violent doll! Ew. Anyways! Look! Your teddy is safe! I'm still scared! Is that so? I know! Would a unicorn blanket make you feel better? See? It's comfy! Pair it with a night lamp and you're super protected now! Blanket burritos always save the day! Yay! Where is all the paper in this house? Watch out! Ouch! My fingers! Whoa. Calculating pain level. Bad door! You don't hurt my owner! Oh my! Megan's got some incredible Hulk skills! Hmm? What happened to the door? Megan, stop it! Give back the door! Well, at least help me put it back! Right there! Ah! That was quite a workout! Shoot. Now it's time to fix the problem! I just need a pool noodle! Then I'll cut the middle part open like a baguette! It fits perfectly on the edge of the door, so it won't close all the way, and all fingers are safe! That's so smart! Now let's put an ice pack on your knuckles. You poor thing! Veggies for lunch! Hmm? What? I said no chocolate before lunch! Look what Melanie did! I swear! I have no more chocolates with me! Then what's that on your face? Scanning surroundings. Searching for sugar. Sugar detected. I've got you now. What is Megan gonna do to Luigi? First, let's hear your heartbeat. The anomaly is in the stomach. I'm glad I have the opportunity to cut you open. I need to cut open your old stitches first. I can detect something inside. A smiley tummy. Ugh, I have to cut it open as well. The chocolates have been found. Just as I detected. The jig is up, Melanie. Care to explain? Oh, shoot! Oh my gosh! I have to throw all these M&Ms away! And to make sure you stay in your seat and eat your veggies, I'll have to trap you on the chair! You have no choice but to eat some grapes! No! Ugh! Fine! Have some carrots, too! 
Gummy bears are Melanie's favorite. But does Megan know about this? Are those candies? Uh oh! A knife? Don't tell me she's going to hurt Melanie! Oh, phew! Didn't I say no sugar? You're so mean! What's going on here? Why is this candy bag pinned to the wall? You poor thing! Don't cry! Here's a lollipop! Yay! Thanks, Nanny! No! The lollipop is all flattened! No more sugar! It's okay, I'll think of something! <gasps> Aha! Watercolors! I want to do something cool! Come with me! What is Nanny going to do with the watercolors? We're going to take out all these paints! Roll a candy into a ball and flatten it out! Make sure it's round just like the watercolor! Then make it smaller! Perfect! This is the perfect way to hide your candies! Let's each have one! Cheers! Delicious! Delicious! Uh-oh, here comes Megan! Hmm, what are you two up to? They seem to just be painting something. Good. Uh. <laughs> that was close! Nanny and Melanie are playing hide and seek! Where's Nanny? Boo! Gotcha! <laughs> I'm gonna catch ya! <laughs> you can try! Tag, you're it! Oops! What is it? What are you playing? I want to join the game. Okay then, tag! Run! Oh my, Megan just turned into a wild predator! What's wrong? Whoa, somebody's a Wednesday Addams fan! She got every detail, right down to the dark outfit! What are you wearing? I want to look like Wednesday! I'm a big fan! Dark and emo? Yeah! Do I look like her now? I do not approve of this! Wipe your makeup off! I don't want to! Megan just turned Melanie into a doll like herself! Shh! Just pretend that you like it! Looks like Melanie is going out today! But she doesn't seem too fond of the hat! Oops! Where is your hat? I don't know, I lost it! It's okay, I can just make one for you! All I need is a sleeve for my sweatshirt! I'll tie the upper part into a knot! Just a bit tighter! There! It's an instant beanie! Try it on! This is way uglier than the other one! You also need a scarf! I wouldn't want you getting too cold! That should be enough! She won't get cold, but she might stumble around if she can't see where she's walking! <gasps> Nanny! I have a splinter! <gasps> oh my gosh! Pain level is high. I detect a threat. I'll get the first aid kit! I'll get the pliers. That sounds painful! Mm -hmm. You're gonna use pliers to pull it out? No way! Ah! Today is just Melanie's unlucky day! Her splinter felt lonely, so she got another one! Where is it? I found the pump! I have to hurry! This pump will pull the splinter out! Don't worry about the bump! I have wound spray to treat it! And a cute little Miss Band-Aid to cover the wound! Yay! Perfect! Little Miss Clumsy is now Little Miss Happy! Oh, what a pretty Barbie doll! Uh-oh, you clumsy girl! Barbie's stuck in a stampede! This was not on her to-do list for today! My poor Barbie! Megan, can you fix her? A broken doll? I know what to do! Where are you taking her? What is Megan doing to Barbie? This is not the kind of operation I was expecting! Oh my! Is Barbie getting hammered? Something interesting is at work here! Your doll is ready! 
I'd like you to meet Robot Barbie. Do you like her? She looks exactly like my Barbie doll. <laughs> What's going on? We've got what? two robot dolls now? That's the real broken Barbie doll. <gasps> I know how to fix Barbie. First, I want to cut off all her hair. We've got to make sure her long hair doesn't get in the way. Don't worry, she won't be completely bald. That's how you do it. Now let's gather up all this hair and lay down some flattened Play-Doh. Then wrap it around Barbie's head. I want to make sure it's rolled into a ball. Barbie's limbs are still useful, so I'll attach them to the top and bottom parts of the ball. How creative! I'm gonna cover all of her limbs with Play-Doh. And look! It's a cute monster toy! Wow! I want to play with this little guy! Thanks, Nanny! I'm glad you like it! She chose that puny monster over my creation? Get out of my sight! Poor Barbie dolls have it rough! Melanie's stomach is hurting! Good thing her nannies are here to help! I'm going to call a doctor! Hey there, little girl! Don't worry, I have the right tools to treat you! Let me listen to what's wrong with your body! <gasps> oh dear, this is bad! We need to do an injection! Hmm? I hate needles! Threat detected! Don't hurt Melanie! Who knew the doctor's ear could stretch like a balloon? This robot doll is at it again! A few drops of water should shut you down! Water detected! My system is malfunctioning! It worked! But the doctor's got a floppy ear now! Ah! I'm out of here! What is Nanny up to? Butterfly on the syringe? The needle doesn't seem so scary now! The butterfly is just going to give you a little kiss! Done! That's it? It didn't hurt at all! Thanks to the butterfly, Melanie will feel butter soon! A yummy cotton candy! Paired with a squishy toy! This is the life! Oops! She squished too hard! And there goes the cotton candy! Ew! My cotton candy's so dirty now! What's wrong with your candy? Detecting… Dirty… This is easy! We just have to clean it up! I've learned humans like to clean things with water! So that's what we'll do! Was that supposed to melt? Something is happening to me! Melanie's cotton candy is long gone! Oh, come on! Is it my unlucky day? Huh? It seems Megan is not yet built to be waterproof! What's going on here? Dirty candy? I have a solution for that! What's this? Looks cool! Whoa, there's a lollipop inside! This guy is the sole protector of lollipops! Nice! Perhaps it's time to take Megan to a mechanic! Incoming! Whoa! What on earth is this? Ew! Hold on! It came from my daughter! Are you sick? How do you feel? I know! Okay, cough syrup and a spoon! Let's do this! Making your child drink medicine always feels like a battle! Will mom win this time? I don't want it! Okay, well, how about the airplane? No! I want to drink Coke instead! But it's not healthy! Oh! I have an idea! What if you put the cough syrup inside the Coca-Cola can? Easy peasy! Here's your Coke! Yay! Mm. Shh! Clary doesn't know she's drinking the cough syrup! Clary is at the doctor's clinic for a checkup! First things first, I'm going to listen to your heartbeat, okay? I don't want that! So scary! No, no, no! Come on, I need to check your- Oh, that's it, young lady! I'm sorry about her behavior, doctor! Huh? A balloon? And orbs? What is mom up to? I'm gonna need these orbs and the balloon! Let's go! First, pour the orbs inside an empty bottle. Then, hook the lip of the balloon over the top of the bottle. Turn it upside down, then watch the orbs fall like sand into an hourglass. Once the balloon is filled with orbs, suck the air out nice and tight. Ta-da! A fidget toy! 
All right, let's try this again. Hold up, I've got something for my daughter. Wow, this is the softest toy ever! Woo! Okay, do the checkup on her now while she's busy. Okay then, let's see. It worked! Clary's too distracted to notice the stethoscope. Mom is so smart for this hack. Ah, what a great day to eat an apple. Huh? Clary's been eating far too many chocolates. There's even more in her pockets. All empty. You ate all of these? Hold on. Apple and candies? I've got an idea. First, prepare a container with a grid on top. Pour yogurt until the entire dish is filled up. Cut the apple in half and dip it into the yogurt. Pick up the grill and drain off the rest of the yogurt. Add sprinkles to make them even more fun. Ta-da! Apple lollipops! Wow! Mom! I love it! Good girl! Go on, finish all of it! While I sneak a little chocolate for myself. <laughs> oh no! A needle! Clary is too scared to get the shot! What should we do now? Ta-da! Want a cute rabbit? No! No? Not even a cute rabbit is effective. Hmm, I need another trick. The doctor turned into a clown. Here comes the shot. Mommy! Clary just got even more scared. Huh? A butterfly? What? I know. This outfit was a waste. Huh? A butterfly with a syringe? I've got it. Ta-da! Clary is not afraid of butterflies. It worked! Yay! My brave little girl! Yummy hot dog! Mm! Clary, what are you doing, sweetie? Hi, Mom! That's not food, young lady! Give me that! Hey! It's lipstick! How could she eat this? Oh, I know what to do! Uh? Lipstick and chocolate? Let's see what Mom is up to! Take a spoonful of chocolate discs and melt them with heat. Then pour the melted chocolate into the empty lipstick tube. An edible lipstick. Yes! Here you go. It's chocolate flavored. Mm. That's one way to have a snack while doing your makeup. <laughs> Whoa! Clary's leaving dirty handprints everywhere. What a mess! What the? Where do these handprints come from? Oops! Grr. Here's a soap. Go wash your hands right now. Okay, fine. I'm washing now. See? Yikes! <laughs> what a slippery soap. What to do? Hmm. This is the Lego toy she's looking for. I know. Prepare a bowl and start off with a transparent soap base. Next, add orange food coloring and mix it all together just like that. Bring out the Lego toy, pour the mixed ingredients inside, and fill it up to the brim. Let it chill, and voila! A Lego toy soap! Soft like gelatin! Clean your hands with your new soap. Best part is, there will be no more slippery soap accidents! Clary seems to be having trouble with her breakfast. It's hard to pick up the egg with chopsticks. Now the egg's rolled away! Come back here! There you are! Help! My eye! What happened? Oh dear! There's a bruise! Hold on! An egg? Let me get that! I have an idea! Mom is doing the egg trick to heal the bruise! Just pat the egg around the area while the egg is still warm! And the bruise is gone! Yay! It doesn't hurt anymore! I don't want a hot water bottle! I said no! Ugh, what do I do with you? Hey, it's Kissy Missy. Mom has an idea. Prepare an empty bottle and put a cherry on top. Use a straw to extract the pits. Fill Kissy Missy's back with all the cherry pits and close her back up. Now it's time for Kissy Missy to go for a very hot spin. Microwave her for a bit. Time's up. Let's take her out. Now you've got a kissy-missy heating pad. 
Clary has no complaints about this one. Wow, so warm. Good night, sweetie. I'm so smart. Clary's distracted. Quick, give her a medicine pill. Ew! Well, that didn't work as expected. She'd rather eat gummy bears. Gummy bears, huh? I have a bright idea. I'm gonna take a gummy bear and slice it open. Just a little bit. So the pill fits inside. Perfect. Will this trick work? Here's a gummy bear. She didn't spit it out. Good job, Mom. Chips again? This is bad. Good thing Mom is here with some healthy fruits and veggies. I hate healthy food. Yeah. What? All you do is eat these chips. You naughty girl. What are you watching? Rainbow friends? This just gave me an idea. Clary, come over here. What is it? <sighs> As a doctor, I should show you what happens to kids who keep eating unhealthy chips. I'm going to cut his stomach open. See that slime? It's from all the bad food he's been eating. He's feeling sick. This is scary. Oopsie, we better wipe that slime off. Pizza. Steak. Burger. Better replace that with a healthy bottle of water. And some broccoli. And an apple. Now let's stitch him back up. Your rainbow friend is healthy again. I'm never eating junk food again. I'll eat a carrot instead. Good girl. You sneaky mom. I guess adults can have a few chips every now and then. <laughs> Those Legos look too small. This looks yummy. Uh, oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cough it out. Come on. Yeah. Phew. What a close call. You're not supposed to eat that, Clary. Wait, Legos, huh? Let's see. Ugh, so much spit. But if she really wants to eat a Lego, I can make that happen. Look at these bottles of colorful chocolate. Pour them all into these Lego-shaped mold trays. Make sure to fill them up to the brim. No chocolate put to waste. Let it chill. And now Clary has Lego candies. I can really eat this? Mmm, so sweet! Thank you, Mommy! Clary is getting bored. <sighs> what are you playing over there? None of your business. Clary, that's rude. But I'm bored. I want to play. Hey, I said don't butt into other people's business. Play with my phone. Yay! But there's only 1% battery left. How can I play games on it? Oh, shoot. I need to find another way. Aha! Uh -huh. I know! Get a plastic bag the size of a phone and pour glitter inside. Add water to make the glitter float. So cool! Put it inside the phone case, cover it up, and put the phone back in the case. What a great way to make your phone case more fun! Check this out! Wow! Glitter! It's all floating around! Look! This is so fun! Yay! Whew, thank goodness it worked! Yay! Open up! No! I want the candy! Let's try again! Here comes the airplane! No! I don't want that, Grandma! Come on, it's good for your body! Oh dear! What should Grandma do? Oh, is that broccoli? Ew! I don't like that! Ugh! It mm. smells horrible! But it tastes good! No! I want the candy! No! No candy for you, mister! But I want it! No can do! You have to eat something healthy first! Well, how about these sausages? Here comes the sausage airplane! Ugh. Take it away! Those candies! No! Stop! Candies! Oh my, what am I going to feed you? I know exactly what to do. Wow, that looks so yummy, Grandma. We'll use this spinning wheel to decide what food you'll eat. Go on, spin it, Dylan. All right. Oh, a carrot. I can eat this. 
Oh, finally! Yay! It worked! Let's do another spin! Oh, a sausage this time! Oh, yes! Grandma cooked that for you! Time for another spin! Yes! Another veggie! Good pick, Dylan! Yay! Those are not enough! There's a berry left! You can do it, Dylan! It's all for your health! Ugh! I'm so full already! Oh no! But Grandma's coming with more food! Those are not enough! Dylan needs to eat more! No! I'm gonna burst already! Please, no! But you have to eat it! I made all these for you! Please, Grandma! I can't eat anymore! Oops! Grandma's getting mad! Okay, fine! I'll eat more if I get my candies! This is delicious! Here comes the airplane! Sorry, Dylan! I hope you get your candies after this! Layla's so excited and ready to go out! That's a pretty dress and a cute jacket she's got there! Oh no! It's freezing outside! You're gonna need warmer clothes! Hmm! I know! Let's go to my closet! Maybe I can try on this wool hat! Oh! And a scarf, too! This will definitely keep me warm! Good thinking, Layla! Let's see what it looks like! Ah! It's so ugly! I should hide it deep down there! Oh, here comes Grandma! Oh, look at you! You should zip this up properly to protect you from the cold! And you should wrap this scarf around your neck! Oh, Grandma! Can Layla still breathe in there? Something seems to be missing, doesn't it? Let's see, you need to cover your head, too! Uh-huh! This pretty wool hat should no! fit you! No! It looks ugly! There you go! You look… uh… Nope, never mind. Hmm, we should choose something else. Ah, how about a hoodie? Yes, we'll make the perfect hat out of this hoodie. Hooray! Just with the use of these scissors, we can cut the sleeve of the hoodie. That's looking good, Grandma. We'll also cut off the cuffs. And then we'll use a ribbon to tie around the end of the sleeve. Now we can close that end and make it look like the crown of a wool hat. And ta-da! The hat is done! That looks cool! Let's try it on Layla and see if it looks good! What? What is this? It looks too big on me! And for extra protection, you need another scarf! We gotta have it wrapped around your neck like this to make sure you're warm enough! Oh my, Grandma! That's a really thick layer of clothing! Oh, Grandma! I can't breathe! I have such good fashion taste! You sure do, Grandma! I can't walk! Bye, Layla! Enjoy your evening! Bye! Great work, Grandma! Wow! Grandpa and Dylan are having a party! Oh, I'm so tired! Phew! Oh no! Dylan's lollipop fell! Can you pick it up, Grandpa? Please? It's under all those ribbons! Okay, I guess I'll try! Yikes! It's all tangled up! They're sticking all over the lollipop! Phew! Oh my! It's covered in fluff! Ew! Right! But you asked me to pick it up, right? Huh? Hmm, let me get my glasses. Oh my gosh! That's a lot of dirt! Yeah, you're right, Dylan. You shouldn't eat this anymore. But don't worry, I can unwrap another lollipop for you. Mmm! Do you like this flavor? Wow! Thanks, Grandpa! You're welcome, Dylan. My, these lollipops can slip easily. Hmm! We have these ribbons! Aha! We should make sure they won't fall anymore! Oh! The ribbon is wrapped around the lollipop and it's tied to the balloon! And score! Straight to Dylan's mouth! Good job, Grandpa! <laughs> I am so smart! <coughs> oh no, Grandpa! Are you okay? <gasps> Uh-oh! Looks like Grandpa accidentally tied his dentures to the balloon! Oops! There go your teeth! Buzz! Buzz! Uh-oh, there's an annoying fly, and it's really bothering Grandpa. How is he supposed to relax with that insect around? Huh? What is Grandpa planning? Oh, what is that tape for, Grandpa? You see? Wow, are those like insect repellents? I can finally relax. Buzz, buzz. Oops, looks like they're back, Grandpa. The tapes are not effective. You better try something else. No, how can they come back? Where do they go? <laughs> it's on the Lego piece. I've got you now. Ow! Ah, this is so frustrating. How do I get rid of these insects? Careful, Grandpa. There's a toy. 
ready. Oh no! Grandpa slipped on a Lego! Huh? How did that happen? Uh-oh! Oh, now this is wrapped all over me! Get it off me! Um, sorry? Huh? Wait a minute. The Lego is sticking mm -hmm. to it. Hmm. I have a great idea. I'm such a genius. Uh-oh. What are you planning, Grandpa? Huh? Why is Grandpa wrapping tape all over Dylan's body? That's a lot of rolls. Oh! They're using the tape to easily pick up the Legos and clean it all up. You can roll over it without hurting yourself, too. Wow! It's so fun cleaning up my Legos now! Let's do a high five! Oh, whoops! Uh-oh! I think they might have had too much tape. Now their hands are stuck. What's that, Layla? Oh, you want some yogurt? Ugh! But I can't reach it! It's too high! Do you need some help, Layla? Oh, you can't reach it, huh? Don't worry, Grandpa's got you! This is too easy, I can reach it. This yogurt right here, it's all yours, Layla. Yay, thank you, Grandpa! Yum, this is my favorite flavor! <laughs> oh well, that was too easy. I think I deserve a cookie for that. And I should probably get back to this crossword. Grandpa, Grandpa, I need your help again! Oh, you want something else? Yeah, but I can't reach it! <laughs> oh, no worries, Grandpa can help you. All right, what is it? I want that bowl of strawberries. All right, fine, move over. Let Grandpa reach that for you. Oh, wow, those look yummy. Here you go, your bowl of strawberries. I gotta get back to my crossword puzzle. Hmm, maybe I can use these tongs to reach for things? Oh, no, you can't use that. Let Grandpa reach it for you. Layla, you can't be using tongs to grab for things, okay? Hmm, wait a second, I just remembered something. What's that, Grandpa? Wow, dinosaur tongs. This is so cool. Now I can finally reach things in the fridge whenever I want. Yay, I got my yogurt. Good job, Layla. That looked really easy thanks to your dinosaur tongs. And it looks like Grandpa's relieved, too. He doesn't have to keep standing up anymore. Surprise! Layla, what are you up to? Oh, I see. Cookies, yum. Be sure not to let Grandpa catch you. She wants the croissant this time. Yum! These tongs are so helpful. Oh no! The dinosaur tongs took Grandpa's crossword puzzle. It took his glasses too. Oh no! I can't see. <laughs> now Grandpa really won't catch me. Where am I? And the beast asked the princess, what are you doing here in my castle? The beast got really angry and he... Grandma, wake up! You didn't finish the story! Oh, sorry! What? Oh, oh, so the beast got angry and asked the princess to leave. Oh, well, I guess this means I can play video games. Oh, my, Grandma! You're falling asleep faster than Layla! <laughs> I love this racing game! I'm up! Hold on, Layla, what are you doing? Give me that! You're supposed to be sleeping! <laughs> Lie down properly and close your eyes! Whatever, Grandma! Oh! Hmm. A cell phone, huh? I know how to tell the story now. I'll just have to press record. Wow, that's really smart, Grandma. And so when the princess left the castle, she was suddenly attacked by wolves. Oh, is she sleeping? Shh, Layla's getting sleepy now. The fairy tale worked. Grandma's voice is just so soothing. Now Grandma just has to keep playing the recording until Layla falls fast asleep. It's working. Good job, Grandma. Good night, sweetie. The beast saved the princess, and they lived happily ever after. Good night, Layla. Sweet dreams. Oh, no. Layla isn't feeling well. Ugh, my head hurts, and I feel so hot. Let me see your temperature. Grandpa's really worried. Oh, no. It's 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a high fever. I should bring her medicine. Ah, there it is. A cough syrup. And a soda. Uh-oh, that's not the cough syrup, Grandpa. There we go. You're giving her the wrong thing. Drink up, Layla. Mmm, this is so yummy. Hey, what are you drinking? Huh? Why is my eyesight getting blurry? I should clean my glasses. Hey, you can't drink soda. That's not what I was supposed to give you. Yay, it's the cough syrup. Here you go. No! I don't like the taste of that. Get it away from hey, me. I almost dropped it. Come on, you have to take the medicine. Oh, that's right. I have an idea. Oh, how 
can Grandpa make Layla drink the cough syrup? Oh, he's cutting the soda can in the middle. Careful, Grandpa. That could be really sharp. Wow, the can is empty. <gasps> Grandpa is putting the bottle of cough syrup inside. That's really smart, Grandpa. Layla will think it's still soda inside. Good job, Grandpa. Here you go, Layla. Drink up your soda. Wow, thanks, Grandpa. You're the best. Mm, I love this drink. Nice one, Grandpa. It'll be our little secret. Finally, Grandpa can relax while Layla is busy quietly playing with her toys. Oh no, is that… Is that a Barbie doll's leg? Yikes! Grandpa broke my toy! Ouch! What did I sit on? A Barbie doll? Oh no, the doll's leg is broken! <laughs> Don't worry, I can fix it, see? Oh no, Grandpa! I want my doll! Hold on, don't cry! Grandpa can fix this! Don't worry, I got it! <laughs> Grandpa's coming back with a box! Let's do this! What could be inside? You got this, Grandpa! I know you can fix this! Let's set it up on the table! Quick! We have more toys here! Whoa! What could be inside that box? Wow! Is that a toy cart? No! I don't want that! But it's a nice toy! Nope! I want my doll! Oh well! Hmm… Uh -huh. How about this? A ping pong ball launcher! That looks fun! And throw! Oh no! Grandpa almost hit the vase! I love it! I want that, Grandpa! Oh no, no! Maybe another toy? This is too dangerous! Okay, how about this one? It's a little fishy! No! That's so boring! Next! Huh? Nope! Hey, look at this cute tail! Wait a second… Hmm… Maybe I can do something to fix this doll! What's that, Grandpa? Is that a glue gun? Why is he coloring the doll's legs? This is looking good! Let's add some more… Ouch! It's so hot! Whoa! That looks like a tail! Whoa, Grandpa! You turned it into a mermaid! so much better! Looks like Layla loves her new doll! <laughs> now she can play with the fishes, too! She's having so much fun! Good job, Grandpa! Mmm, what is that? Something smells amazing! What are Grandpa and Grandma making? I want to have a taste! Wow, that stew looks absolutely yummy! This one's for Layla! Wow, that smells good, Grandma! I'm done playing and I'm so hungry! Sit down and eat. I made this especially for you. Here's your bowl, dear. Mm, I'm excited to try this. I can't wait to eat. Uh, my hair! Oh no! Layla's hair is a mess. It's difficult to eat when your hair keeps falling in your face. <gasps> Oops! Layla didn't mean to knock the beans off the table. Oh my! That's a lot! <sighs> oh gosh, what a mess. I guess I have to go and clean this up now. Sorry, Grandma! My hair is really bothering me! Yikes! A leaf fell into the stew! Thanks for picking it up, Grandpa! Ew! Where did that leaf even come from? We better throw this away! Oh dear! There are more leaves in your hair! Where have you been going, little girl? Did you climb up a tree? Eh, here's another one! We need to fix your hair so you can eat! <laughs> Let's use this rubber band! Oh no! Will Grandpa be able to fix Layla's hair? He seems to be struggling! Don't give up, Grandpa! You can do this! Oh no! You might get Layla's hair all tangled up! I can't do it! Yeah! It's okay, Grandpa! Maybe you should ask for Grandma's help! Oh no! What's that? A pair of scissors? What are you going to do with those, Grandpa? Heh heh heh! Let's use these to fix your hair! No, Grandpa! You can't cut off my hair! Let's snip it so we can fix it! No, no, no! Don't go near my hair with those! How else can we fix your hair? Oh, Grandma's back with a vacuum! Wow, it's really effective in cleaning up the beans from the floor! Huh? That's noisy! Wait, a powerful suction, huh? <gasps> Grandpa's using the vacuum to fix Layla's hair! This is amazing! Wow, Thanks, hey. Grandpa! I'm so in love with my hairstyle! Now I can finally eat my food, too! What? 
That is a well done hairstyle. How did this happen? It looks perfect. How did you think of that? Oh, sweetie, you're so smart. Oh, well, what can I say? I'm a genius. <laughs> Yikes, Grandpa's vacuuming up all the food. Oh, no, Grandpa. <laughs> Oh, Grandpa, is that a bucket of milk? That looks so heavy. Oh my, that looks heavy, dear. You're so strong. Of course, my dear. I'm used to living heavy weights. Mmm, that milk smells really good. It must be really fresh. All right, I better go then. Let me have a taste of this delicious milk. Wow. Mmm. Ah. This is very tasty! You should give it a try, Dylan! Nah, I don't want it! What? But this will make your bones strong! You should give it a taste! Dylan, this milk will make your bones strong like grandpa! No! Blech! It smells disgusting! Wait, but how could you say that? Oh! <laughs> this can't be! My poor husband! We have to convince Dylan to try this delicious milk! Hmm, milk and gloves? Oh, I know what to do! What is Grandma sketching on the gloves? <laughs> oh, they look like the spots of a cow! Hmm, why is Grandma pulling it over the glass? And she's pouring milk into it! Wow, it's getting full! It looks like a cow's udder! Now, Dylan can try and get the milk himself. We just have to push a needle through and voila! The milk is coming out! That is so cool! Look at all that milk coming out! Wow! I want to try it now, Grandma! Now it really does seem like the milk is very fresh! You're so smart, Grandma! And it still tastes just as fresh! Yay! What? That is a genius creation! Huh? Wow! You really did all that for me? Of course, we appreciate your hard work, dear. Oh. Oh, Grandma looks busy. She's really good at knitting. Oh no, Dylan's raincoat is all torn up. Oh, Dylan, what happened to your raincoat? This is unacceptable. Look, Grandma, you can just buy me a new one. I really like this one. Huh? Oh my gosh, $900? Can we even afford that? Let me see how much money I have left. Yikes! Grandma's piggy bank is empty! What about the raincoat? Huh? What are you doing? Why are you shaking our piggy bank? Well, look at Dylan's raincoat! He wants to buy a new one! This is what he chose. Huh? $900? Oh no! Where are we gonna get that much money? Hmm. Let me think. Oh! Huh? The shower curtain? What is Grandpa planning to do? Let's take this shower curtain down. Yes, we can turn this into a raincoat. Now using the scissors, cut off the side with the holes in it. Let's cut up some more until they're all gone. There we go. Now we use this flat iron to close up the sides. Hmm, this is good enough, I guess. Here comes the much-awaited moment. Dylan's going to try out his new raincoat. Wow, it fits in perfectly. I hope he likes it. Let's try wetting him in the shower to see if it's effective. Oh my gosh, wow, it works. Wow, thank you, Grandpa. I love my new raincoat. Mom, look, I made this for Mom. Mom, look, I made the most beautiful artwork for you. Wow, sweetie, that's incredible. Come here. Ugh, but I tried so hard. This isn't fair. What a lame painting. I'll never paint again. Let me see, sweetie. Well. Okay, everybody, it's time to eat this delicious cake. Who wants a piece? Wait a minute, I think I just came up with a good idea. I'll take that, if you don't mind. Just look at mom. Looks like she really has a plan. But it looks so weird. Is she putting paint on the fork? What? Putting the fork on a piece of paper makes… a flower. I can't believe it! That looks so nice! Wow! See? It's that simple. Here you go. Try this one on your own. Okay, I'll do my best. Ready, steady… 
Good job, Lucas. That looks so nice. And it's so creative. Well, Mom is full of amazing ideas. Take a look! I finished it! Wow, you are such a great boy! It looks amazing! After a long day, it's about the right time to get ready for bed. Everyone's so tired. Must have been a day full of creative hacks, haha! <laughs> I'm so sleepy. I need to get some rest. I can't reach it! Come on! Whoa! Oh no! Where did it go? Where's my toothbrush? Shoot. This is so disgusting. Ew. Yikes, that's gross! That goes back into the trash. But wait a minute. I think I have an idea. All you need is a bottle lid, a toothbrush, and a blade. Put the toothbrush on the lid and measure it. Mark the spots with a pen. And now grab a blade. Carefully cut in the places where you just marked. You can make as many as you want. Attach it to the mirror, and there you go. Now you have your own toothbrush holder. Isn't that cool? Let's see if Aiden approves of the idea. See, now the toothbrush will always be clean. I am so proud of myself. Are you ready for school, sweetie? Put this shirt on. Um, I don't think that's how you're supposed to button up your shirt. Oh, no, no, no. This is all wrong. Let me help you. I'm going to show you how to do that. Do you get it? Okay, let's see. Oh. Well, it is confusing. What were you expecting? Mom better come up with a good idea. Look at these colorful pins. I think I know what to do. Grab a shirt and straighten it out and get your pins. Now place a piece of cardboard under the front of the shirt to make sure that the other side doesn't get ink on it. Make a little fish shape out of paper and draw around it. You will get a cute fish outline. Isn't that cool? Now fill the inside of the shape with the colors you like. Repeat that on each buttonhole. It's going to be a colorful and fun shirt. And it's going to be way easier to button it up. Color each button to match its buttonhole and it'll be less confusing. I can assure you. Come here. I have a cool hack for you. Now you can button up your shirt on your own. It's so easy. Wow, you're right. I'm not struggling anymore. And my shirt looks so cool. Good job, Aiden. You look amazing. Now it's time to go to school and show everybody how cool your shirt looks. Finally, after scrubbing and cleaning all day, my home looks perfect. Well, I think it's too soon for mom to be happy. Look at Aiden's shoes. Mom's probably going to freak out. What a mess. What? I just cleaned everything. Oh, poor angel, what happened to you? Come here. Are you okay? Take off your shoes. Let's go get you changed. Ew. They're covered in mud and full of water. That's a shame. What do I do now? Give me a moment. Oh. I know! Grab a pair of shoes and a simple candle. Take one shoe and rub the candle all over it. Don't be shy. Rub as much as you can. Do the same with another shoe. Make sure it's covered in wax really well. Now it's time to test the shoes. Grab a water sprayer and spray. Spray tons of water. Can you believe it? The shoes just became waterproof. What a useful hat. Let's see if Aiden came back home with clean shoes. He did! That's amazing! Less for mom to worry about. Look at these little kids. They're so creative. Oh, 
Oh, Mom just got a new rug. We can place it right here. It'll look perfect. Thank you so much. How exciting. Hey, give me that. No, I had it first. No, let it go. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. That's not going to end well. I won't be handling this. Bye. Oh, no. What am I going to do now? I've been waiting for this rug for ages. It's so soft and nice and now it's destroyed. I bet she'll come up with a good idea. She can always fix a problem. Yes, she's using rubbing alcohol. What a smart choice. Put it on a cotton disc and rub the rug with it. Rub it as hard as you can. Grab some hairspray. Now cover the stain with hairspray. Rub it again with a cotton disc. And watch that stain disappear. It's like magic, isn't it? Yay! Wow, Mom, I can't believe it! The rug looks new again! Well, now the kids can draw wherever they want. Mom will fix it anyway. <laughs> it's amazing! Voila! Mom! Mom! Can we go outside to play? Please, Mommy, please? Of course. Promise me you'll be really careful so you don't get hurt, okay? Okay, we promise! Okay, go play. Bye! They're big now. They can handle themselves. Yikes! I think the children played too much. I hope they're okay. Oh my god, my poor babies! Let me take care of you. Of course, the first aid kit. It has everything you need when you get hurt. No, I don't want that! Band-aids? No way, it's going to hurt! I don't want it. Seems it's not going to be as easy as I thought. No, no, no! Let's hide! Please, no! Band-aids are too scary! Hmm, what? Are they really so scary? What if I can make band-aids cute? I think I have an idea. Grab some band-aids. Put them on your desk. Take a bunch of your favorite pens and get ready to be creative. Draw some cute hearts on the band-aid. Use different colors to make it even more lovely. And don't be afraid to use your imagination. Make as many different patterns and shapes as you can. Look, I have so many beautiful stickers. Let me put them where you got hurt. They're going to help your bruises. Choose whichever ones you want. It's not scary, is it? Wow, Mom, that looks so cool! Can I get another one? Grab a pair of scissors and cut the band-aid down the middle like this. Put the band-aid on the finger and cross the ends. Now the band-aid fits perfectly to the finger. Amazing! Now my little angels are safe. What a useful hack! Looks like Charlotte is finally ready to get dressed on her own. Let's see how she handles it. Wow, so many nice clothes. What to choose? Well, you don't need to put all of them on. Oh my, who got you dressed like this? I think you might need some help, sweetie. No thanks, mom, I'm good. I need to go to school. Wait, 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 you can't go dressed like that. This is ridiculous. Okay, okay, I need to think of something. Give me a minute. What if I just give you this? No. Wait a minute. I think I know what to do. Oh, wow! Mom just organized all of the clothes. Now Charlotte will have no trouble with her outfits. They're all already prepared. From Monday to Sunday. This is genius! Today I am going to get dressed in this outfit. Look, Mom! How do I look? Does it fit me well? Of course it does. You're ready to go to school now. Little Lucas isn't that little anymore. He's learning how to count. You can do it, baby. Hmm. Oh, it's easy. It's five. Yeah, that's right. I did a great job. Oh, this is going to be harder than I thought. <laughs> Come on, it's easy. Let me help you with that. You missed the number four. Hey, no, no, you have to let him count on his own. 
He has to learn somehow. What if I can turn the math into something really interesting? All you need for this project are 10 ice cream sticks. Lay them down next to each other. And add a number from 1 to 10 on the top of each stick. It's really simple, but very creative. Now draw something on the sticks to make a little picture. Mix up the sticks and let the kid put the picture together. That way, it's going to be easier to learn how to count. Ah, there you go! See? Math can be interesting! You just need to find a creative way to do it. Hmm, it's finally breakfast time! I'm going to put some over here, a bit over there. It's going to be delicious! Oh shoot, let's hope mom doesn't notice the mess. Or I think she'll go crazy. Oh my god, what is that? Is that… ew… Wait a minute, what are you doing? No, 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 no! Come here, you little princess of mess! <laughs> I'm going to help you wash your hands. I have a feeling that mom just came up with a really good idea. I know, I have an amazing idea! Take your favorite chocolate spread. Open it and cut a little hole in the lid of the jar. Now grab a soap dispenser. Don't forget to clean it well. Next, take hot glue and put it around the hole in the lid. Now attach the dispenser to the lid and put it all back on the jar. Now you have your own mechanism to prevent your hands from getting messy. Try it. Ugh, I already washed my hands. No, <laughs> this one goes on the toast. There you go. Of course, on the toast. You wouldn't wash your hands with chocolate, would you? <laughs> That's so useful and smart. Now there'll be no mess in the kitchen. It's time for a delicious snack! Dad, it's such a mess! What if mom sees this? <sighs> Never mind, it's okay. Who cares? It's no big deal. Look, I'm going to be the mom now. Who's going to say anything? Nobody! Ha ha ha! Well, I'm not going to lie. He looks a bit like a mom, right? Look! Oh my god, what have you done? This is not good, blah, blah, blah. What? Where? S Hi, sweetie, I was just... We were just, uh... Sorry. Oh, shoot. I just cleaned everything, and now it's all chaos. Hmm, wait a moment, I think I have a plan. Let's see what kind of amazing plan mom just came up with. Grab your corn and cut it around the cob. Then cut that piece into strips. Find yourself some long sticks and put the strips of corn on the sticks. Be patient. And there you go. Now you have a better version of this snack. And it won't make any mess. Look what I got. Try it now. Wow, it looks so nice. This is the best ever. Mmm, delicious. This is so good! I know. I'm a genius. Aw, look! The boy is sleeping soundly embraced by his mother. That's so cute. But she's already tired of lying on the child's bed. Mom, where are you going? Please stay, I want to sleep with you. Oh my, the mom is looking so tired and this bed is not comfortable for both of them. Come here. It's your turn to sleep with our son. Nothing, just stay here. I deserve to have some rest myself. <laughs> now dad is lying in bed with the child. Be careful, dad. Oh no, he woke up. Mom! Shh, that's okay, I'm here. We don't need mom. Look, dad saw a picture of their family and he has an idea. 
Oh, look, the boy is sleeping peacefully. <laughs> Dad, put his mother's face mask on his face so the kid will see her face. Well done, Dad. You're the best. Lucas decided to choose what to wear outside. Uh-oh. Mom had folded those clothes neatly. They have to move quickly before she sees this mess. But the problem is that neither dad nor the son know how to fold clothes that well. This looks awful. But wait, dad saw a cardboard box and it seems he has a better idea. That's right, dad remembered that there's an easier and more fun way to fold clothes. Just use a piece of cardboard to fold to one side, then the other, and then in half. Voila! Both boys can do it perfectly, and it's going fast, too. Great job, son! Aww! Put it here, Dad! Great job, Dad! Lucas is sleeping peacefully. Watch out! Mommy, mommy! There are monsters in Lucas's bedroom. Mommy, I'm afraid there are monsters in here. Where? I don't see anything. I can't sleep now. Calm down, I'll check again. Oh! Who? Mom shuddered because she thought that she saw a monster for real. But it's just a spray bottle, and it seems mom has some ideas for it. There's a way to help your kid get rid of their fear of monsters. Just take the empty spray bottle, add some funky eyes, <laughs> as many as you want. Add some plain water. It'll be awesome. And then name the spray, the monster spray. Perfect, mom. Here you go, this is a special spray to get rid of those monsters. Spray! Lucas is acting like a real warrior, exterminating those night enemies. That's my boy. I'll put it here just in case. Now you can sleep calmly. Good night. It's messy everywhere again. Oh, hold these. Help me tidy all this up. Oh, those kids. What's this sticky thing? Ew, an old dirty lollipop. Hold this, Allie. Oh no, Mom, you gave a lollipop to a kid. Oh wait, what have I just done? Phew, by a whisker. Baby, you can't eat this. You'll get sick, it's dirty. Now Ellie is sad. But mom saw a kinder toy case, and she came up with the perfect idea. Maybe I have a new lollipop for you. That's not all. Look, I make a case for it so if it falls on the ground, it won't get dirty. A lollipop. Yay! Mom, my favorite flavor. Whoops. Sorry, I didn't mean to. That's no problem. Pick it up and open it. See? Perfectly clean. Wow, Mom, so clever! I know. <laughs> Dad is preparing for an important video call with his boss. The kid has things to do, so everything should go flawlessly. Oh, I forgot my papers. Haha, <laughs> nice look, Dad. The benefits of working from home. Ellie looks very excited about the painting. Okay, now I'm ready. Whoa, 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 be careful with that. You almost scribbled on my shirt. Calm down, calm down, drink some juice. The meeting is getting started. Good morning, sir. It seems that Ellie is feeling very artistic today. Whoops, she spilled juice on dad's papers and everything. What? Sir, I'm sorry, I'll be right back. Dad seems so mad. Ellie, I told you this is important for me. Oh wait, plastic wrap? Dad came up with an idea so this won't happen again. He's using plastic wrap to cover the glass with juice. Then some tape to seal everything.
a little straw, and voila! Now everything should go well. Oh no, not again! But wait, it didn't spill! Oh, Dad, you're so smart. But didn't you forget that your boss is waiting for you to come back to the video call? <laughs> Sorry, sir, what were we talking about? Mom is cleaning while the kids are at school. They should be back any minute. Mommy, I had an accident! It hurts! Oh my! Where have you been? What happened? I have a splinter! Oh dear, we have to pull it out! Sit down, don't be afraid! Let's see what we have here. Tweezers. This should work. Ouch, ouch, it hurts! Mom, don't! Stay still! Okay, okay, let's find another way. What? I can't watch! How is it possible to pull the splinter out with this thing? Oh, wow! We're all done! What? I didn't even feel anything! Thank you, Mommy! Aw, so sweet, Ellie! Hmm, maybe now we should talk about you taking a bath. Ew! Casual evening at home. But wait, Ellie is eating sand! No, no, no! Ellie, how many times have I told you sand is not edible? Dad seemed more chill about the situation. He has had many clever hacks to solve problems, and this is one of them. He just puts cookies into a blender. And makes crumbles that look just like sand. But it's edible now! Clever! Here you go, sweetheart! You can eat this! Mm. What? Have you gone crazy or what? You let her eat sand? Calm down, my love! It's cookie crumbles! Wow! My smart man! What is this? Mom stepped in some kind of puddle! But wait! There's a trail of puddles! What's going on here? Oh, it's Ellie eating ice cream that's melting and dripping everywhere! Hey you, don't you see that our kid is making a mess? Oh, I'm sorry, I was watching Gotcha's videos! I'll clean everything! Oh no, don't be mad, don't be mad! I'll take this! It seems that Mom has a better solution than just cleaning up every drip of ice cream! She made an anti-dripping shield out of a cup lid! Babe, you're the smartest woman I know! Yeah, yeah! Finally, it's Dad's time alone! He can enjoy his chips when no one's watching! But what's that? It's Ellie! Mm, she heard the opening of the bag! No, not again! Oh dear, Ellie always steals his mm. chips! It's impossible for Dad to enjoy any snacks! Is there any way? Maybe there is! Dad thought of something! Dad is putting some hooks on top of the door! A rope? How is this going to work? He's gluing it to a new pack of chips and opening it again? Interesting! He looks confident this time! Oh, when she opened the door, the mechanism worked by pulling the bag up so she couldn't see it. When she closes the door, the package slides right into Dad's hands. This is an amazing hack for parents who want to have snacks just for themselves. Dad is a master of those kinds of things. Ah, let's take a nap. Ouch! You move my pillow. What's going on? Oh, it's Ellie! She took all the pillows to make a cozy planning space for herself! Hey, Ellie! I'll take this! I want to lay down! No, Mommy! I need this! But Mommy wants to take a nap! 
Ellie looks nervous. Oh my, what should I do? There are so many balloons in here. Oh wait, I think I can make something. Mom knows the perfect solution to get back her pillows and let her kid have her cozy space. You need a big bag. Put some balloons inside. Then open the cover, vacuum all the air from the bag, and put the cover back on. Now it looks like a fun pillow. Mom made not just a pillow, but a couch from balloons too. It looks better than it did with the real pillows. Ellie is enjoying this makeover. And Mommy finally can have her nap. Success!